Here I have an object, and I'd like to make it so that when you walk into the object, it teleports you to this near identical room. Here's how I go about doing so. First we need a collider for it, so I'm going to select my object, and I'm going to come into Add Component, and I'm going to use a Capsule Collider because that best represents my object. I just need to edit its bounds to make it better fit the object, and then I want to select Is Trigger and make that true. Now we need to write the logic for this object. So I'm going to go Add Component Udon Behavior, and now we need a script to go inside this Udon Behavior component, so I'm going to come down into my project window and right click Create VRChat Udon Udon Graph Program Asset, and I'm going to call it Teleport On Touch. Then I'm going to select my object and drag and drop the script into the Udon Behavior component. And now it's time to open up the script. So I'm going to select Open Udon Graph. And now that we're in the script, it's time to write our logic. So now we want it so whenever a player walks into our trigger, that it teleports the player. So I want to right click Create Node and use the event On Player Trigger Enter. Then whenever this event plays, we want to teleport the player. So we want to go Create Node, let's cover this spacebar, and go Player API Teleport To. We then want to drag the arrow into our teleport to node and the player API into the instance slot. So now whenever a player walks into the trigger, it will play this node. Now a quick disclaimer here, the event on player trigger enter plays whenever any player walks into the trigger, not just the local player. Technically we should use a player API is local and then put that through a branch node and use this branch node to check to see whether or not it's the local player that has walked into the trigger. However, we can exploit something in VRChat where only the local player is allowed to be teleported and you cannot tell another player to teleport. If you want to tell another player to teleport, you have to tell them to tell themselves to teleport. So in this particular case, we don't need to do this and we can simply drag the arrow directly in. Now, in order for this node to work, we need to tell it where we want to teleport them to. We could hard code where we want them to teleport to. However, by far the easiest method is just to create an empty game object in our world and teleport the player to its location. So in order to do that, I'm going to come up to my variables tab and I'm going to create a transform. I'm going to call this teleport target and then hit this drop down menu and make it public so we're able to select it inside the inspector. I then want to drag and drop it out and I want to put this transform into a transform get position node and a transform get rotation node. Then we fill in the nodes and we will plug the position into the teleport position and the rotation into the teleport rotation node. And with that, this code should work. So now I want to hit compile just to double check and come back into our scene view. We're going to click on our object and now we need to say where we want it to teleport to. So I'm going to come back into our hierarchy. I'm going to right click create empty. I'm going to call this teleport target and then I'm going to fly around and go control shift F to place it where I want the player to teleport to. Adjust it so it's near the ground as this will be your feet location. And then coming back to the teleporter, I want to select it and drag and drop our teleport target into the variable slot. Awesome, so now it's time to test this. I'm going to hit play, and now that we're in the world, we can close the menu and walk into the object, and it should teleport the player to the new location. Awesome, that's all there is to it, so hopefully you found this helpful. Feel free to leave a like on the video if you liked it, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and feel free to check out some of my other tutorials that I have on the channel. But until next time, bye!